this is what core parking should look like if you're using a CPU that uses core parking like the 9950X 3D. Notice how CCD0 is fully engaged while CCD1 is asleep. Please note if you have other applications running in the background while you are playing a game, let's say you're streaming music for example, then you may see some light activity on CCD1. That is totally fine. However, what is absolutely not fine is if your cores look like this while gaming. This is what my cores look like when I'm playing Battlefield 6. And from the looks of it, it seems like many other gamers online have this exact same issue. Hi, this is Zerock on Tech, and today I'll show you how to fix your AMD core parking issues. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now, when it comes to core parking, the good news is that in 99% of the cases, it pretty much works totally fine and as it should. In fact, core parking is working better now than ever before. And so for the most part, you can buy with confidence and know that it's gonna be okay. However, unfortunately, there are some edge cases where it may not work properly, and I'm gonna help you fix that today. And also, unfortunately, whenever it comes to buying a CPU that uses core parking, it's not exactly a plug and play solution out of the box. You will need to do some configuration on your part. Now, I've already done a full video on the 9950X 3D, and I fully explained how to set up core parking properly. And so I would highly recommend checking out that video if you're brand new to the core parking parking world, if you will. So if you've never had a CPU before that requires core parking and you're not quite sure how to set it up properly, I would definitely recommend checking out that video. And now for those of you who may not know, at the time of this filming, which is October the 19th, 2025, there are a total of six AMD CPUs that use core parking. Those are the 7900X3D, the 7950X3D, the 9900X3D, the 9950X3D, the 9900X, and the 9950X. So if you have any one of those CPUs, or if you are planning to purchase any one of those CPUs, you will need to change some settings in your system so that core parking can work properly. Now, it's also worth noting that while the non-X3D CPUs can benefit from core parking, the main CPUs that do benefit from core parking are the X3D CPUs. Now, really quickly, here is the list of things that you need to do in order to get core parking up and working properly on your system. And if you have done all this, and if core parking is still not working for you, say in the latest game like Battlefield 6, then that is where this video comes in. Okay, that's enough preamble. Let me get straight to the point. Battlefield 6 recently came out and unfortunately, core parking does not work properly in Battlefield 6. Initially, I thought it was, you know, just me and my system, but that's actually not the case. I have a buddy who also plays Battlefield 6. He also has a 9950X3D. Core parking is also not working properly for him. I also got online, started searching up the issue. Sure enough, other people have this exact same issue. Even if you go through and you validate that everything is set up properly and you can open up any other game in your library, and it seems like core parking is working properly in Battlefield 6, it simply does not work. The problem breaks down like this. Core parking relies on the Windows scheduler. And, and frankly, the Windows scheduler is simply not that great to begin with. But to make matters worse, the Windows scheduler is using Xbox Game Bar to identify when an application is actually a game. And if everything works properly, then the Windows scheduler says, Game Bar tells me that this is a game and you're now launching that game. So now let's park the cores accordingly and let's start to favor those cache cores, right? Makes sense. And like I said, for the most part, it actually works. But in the case of Battlefield 6, what's happening is, Xbox Game Bar is not properly recognizing Battlefield 6 as a game. Sure, you can see Battlefield 6 in the Xbox Game Bar menus, and yes, you can interact with it just like any other game, but for whatever reason, it is not properly recognizing Battlefield 6 as a game for the core parking process on the back end. Now, in Game Bar, you can actually go to settings and then you can highlight your game and say, remember, this is a game. However, unfortunately, even after manually checking that box and saying this is a game for Battlefield 6, Game Bar does not not remember that. And so the moment you click out of Game Bar, that toggle goes away and it simply does not remember that Battlefield 6 is a game. So the root cause here is actually Xbox Game Bar. With that being said though, there is a solution and it comes down to modifying the registry. Now, I understand what everybody's gonna say here. I shouldn't have to modify my registry. I don't wanna modify my registry. I don't feel comfortable doing that. I get it, I get it. With that being said though, I have done all the legwork for you. All you have to do is download, run the files and you're good to go. Let me explain. 
So first of all, this is not my full solution. I was scouring the internet and I got lucky and came across a post on the Asus forums where somebody had posted this solution. Now, the majority of the solution there is very similar to all the other things that we've already talked about in this video and my last video, you know, balance power plan and all of that stuff, right? The key difference here is the registry edit. And what's gonna happen here is we're basically gonna modify the registry and then that's gonna enable something called DVR. Basically what's happening here is we're now going to force game bar to remember when we say, remember, this is a game. When we check that box in regards to Battlefield 6, we are now forcing Game Bar to now remember that action. And then after we do that, all we do is run the second script, which is titled Disable, and then it basically rolls back your registry change. So now in the end here, what will happen is, your system will now be back to where you were. You're back at square one, exactly where we started at the start of this video. So nothing else is different, but now core parking is working properly in Battlefield 6. And if you have any other game that has recently come out, or maybe it's just an older game and it doesn't have proper updates or whatever the situation is, if you have any other game not properly working with core parking, you should theoretically be able to take this exact same solution, rinse and repeat, and you know force it to work. Now, with all that being said, here are the exact details of how to implement this. And we'll also talk about why this is a better solution when compared to other things like Project Lasso. Okay, so step one, go down to the comment section, look at the pinned comment or look at the video description and download the two registry files there. One will start with the word enable and the other one will start with the word disable. You first want to run the file that says enable, double click it. It'll ask you if you wanna run it, simply say yes. After that, restart your PC. Once you come back from the restart, open up Battlefield 6 and then open up Game Bar. By the way, that is Windows key plus G on your keyboard in order to make this pop up. From there, you're gonna go to settings and then general and check the box that says, remember, this is a game. Restart your game, and this time, you should be able to notice that core parking is properly working. By the way, if you don't know how to make sure that core parking is working correctly, download Ryzen Master, click the CPU tab, scroll down, and you should see CCD0 and CCD1. And now, whenever you have Battlefield 6 open and you're actively in the game, if you look over on your secondary monitor, assuming you have one, you should now be able to see that CCD0 is fully active while CCD1 is either fully asleep or mostly asleep depending on other background processes. And now that we have confirmed that core parking is officially working at Battlefield 6, we can shut down Battlefield 6 and we can now run the second script that starts with the word disable. Double click to run it, hit yes, let it run, and then restart your PC one more time. Now you should be all good to go. Now you can open up Battlefield 6 again and you should still see that core parking is working. You should also be able to go to any other game in your library that was working before and you should see that it is still also working properly and core parking and all that stuff is working as it should and now finally the icing on the cake or the cherry on top is the fact that your registry is back to the way it was originally before you made any changes this is literally a no compromise solution. And now finally, that brings me over to what I know people will write in the comment section. Well, I'm just gonna use Project Lasso or I'm gonna use game mode or turbo mode or X3D turbo mode or whatever it may be called in your particular BIOS. Or I'm gonna update my preferred part cores and just favor cache or frequency or whatever. And you know what? Technically you can do those things. And I also did all of those things before I found the registry solution. The problem is every one of these solutions are a compromise to some extent. Let me explain. So the X3D turbo mode or game mode or turbo mode or whatever your BIOS calls it, all that does is disable half the cores on your CPU for something like a 9950X 3D. So in my case, when I use it, I basically take my 9950X 3D and knock it down to a 9800X 3D, which is still a great CPU, but I'm literally losing half my cores at that point. So congratulations, I overpaid for a 9800X 3D. Not a good feeling, not a good solution, definitely a compromise. And even if you're okay with doing that, you still have to go back into the BIOS once you're done gaming and disable that mode in order to get all of your cores back for the rest of your PC processes. It doesn't make sense, it's a bad solution. Next up, there's another solution where you can go update something in your BIOS called CPPC for dynamic preferred cores. And basically you can force it to favor cache or frequency or the driver. Now, ideally driver should operate the same 
same way as auto or auto should be using driver. And so if auto is not working for you, there's a slim chance driver will, but in this case, it didn't work for me and it probably won't work for you either. So you may say, well, you know what? I mostly game, so I'm just going to favor the cash. That's great. But in that case, then you should have probably just purchased the 9800X3D. Or if you say, I'm going to prefer my frequencies, that's okay, except for the fact that when you game, you're now not taking advantage of the X3D V cache. And now finally, that brings me to my final point, which is Project Lasso. So a common solution I've seen online is to update CPPC dynamic preferred cores to favor frequency. So by default, when you're in Windows, most of the time you're going to be using the higher frequency cores. That's okay if you're not gaming, but once you start gaming, that becomes a problem. That is where Project Lasso comes in. A lot of people suggested you're going to favor the frequency cores by default. So in Project Lasso, you will identify the executable file for the game you're interested in playing. And basically you will override it to favor the cache cores instead of the frequency cores. Logically, this makes a lot of sense and I can definitely see why a lot of people would use it. My problem with that is the fact that I tried it and for Battlefield 6, it did not work. It may work for other games, but it did not work for me in Battlefield 6. And even if I did something wrong, and let's say that it does work for Battlefield 6, the problem problem here is the fact that you now have to do this for every single game you own. So your entire Steam library, anytime you're getting ready to launch a game, you have to take this action and say, override and favor cash. That's a lot of extra work and that is something I'm not interested in personally. That is a compromise solution. So going back to the registry edit, that is a no compromise solution and it's definitely something I recommend trying out. And if it works for you, if it doesn't work for you, let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, here are my final thoughts and closing thoughts on everything. So first and foremost, I'm just a gamer like you. I paid full price for Battlefield 6. I honestly enjoy the game. I've been having a lot of fun with it and I have been struggling with core parking in the game. I have been looking for a clean, no compromise solution that works every time I launch the game. This is the only solution so far that I found that has worked for me consistently with no issues. And I wanted to share it with you. I have not seen this solution anywhere except that Asus forum post. And that post also links over to a subreddit where people talked about it to a lesser extent. So I will have both of those links down below along with the two files. You can download the files from me if you like, or you can build them yourself by following the guides that I link down below. Entirely up to you. Again, I don't really stand to gain anything from this. I just wanted to provide a solution because I was honestly pretty annoyed that no one else has talked about this and every solution I have tried hasn't really worked on a consistent basis. Anyway, I hope you found value here. And if you did, please do me a favor, hit that like button and get subscribed. If you're new, I'm trying to grow the channel, share this with a friend. If you know somebody else who's also struggling with Battlefield 6 and core parking, and you can click here or here, one of the one of the areas uh, for a video on the 9950X 3D that talks about core parking in greater detail and also the benefits of having a CPU like the 9950X 3D. Until next time, E-Rock out.